06, Bautista, Yoni Hernandez and Nicky Hayden making his last Grand Prix appearance in Malaysia. Row 7, Loris Baz, Tony Elias and Eugene Lafferty. Row 8, Mike Demeglio, Ant West and Damien Cudlin. And row 9, all on his own, the naughty boy, Hector Barbara. Hector Barbara, if you are just joining us. Uh, penalised for an incident this morning with Paul Espargo. He was 10th on the grid. He starts now from the back of the grid. The moment of truth is getting closer. Will we have a new 2015? Is that the Vincenzo as well? I think it is! This Unbelievable! Fire. Fire. the fact the Ducatis clattered in. Believe it. They're trying to get that fight. I think it's a Davizioso now. I hope he's okay because he looked hurt. Nowhere that can the air. He's rolled through the uh, tarmac runoff quite a few times there. I just wonder if we might see a red flag here if they can't get a Fabio Quattro. Shocker for Andrea Davizioso. Mark Marquez now has damn the back straight into Brooklyn from Rossi and Rins with Vinales then following Morbidelli. Clattered into Quattro's. Yamaha, he's on the stretcher. Well, I've found uh, Yamaha Suzuki out. Hit around. Maggots and Beckett. Quattro wincing a bit. The uh, tarmac run off quite a few times there. Key at the sharp end of this one, then, as they now hit around. It seems the air is rolled through. The uh, tarmac run off quite a few times there. I just wonder if we might see a red flag here if they can't give a Fabio Quattro a shocker for Andre Vizioso. Mark Marquez now has Andy back straight into Brooklyn from Rossi and Rins with Vinales then following Morbidelli. Clattered into Quattararo's Yamaha is on the stretcher. Well, I'd ponder Yamaha Suzuki at the sharp end of this one then as they now hit around. Maggots and Beckett's the high five. Down he went for the fact of the captain. Clattered in to leave it. They're trying to get that bike out. They're looking to Davizioso now. I hope he's okay because he looked hurt. Nowhere to see the air. He's rolled through the tarmac run up quite a few times. Leave there. it. They're trying to get that bike. A shocker for Andre Davizioso. Mark Marquez now has damn the back straight into Brooklyn from Rossi and Rins with Vinales then following Morbidelli. Clattered into Quattararo's Yamaha. He's on the stretcher. A shocker for Andre Davizioso. Mark Marquez now has damn the back straight into Brooklyn from Rossi and Rins with Vinales. Ziggy. Happy siren, the battered Brooklyn. Davizioso pulls out of the slipstream, he's attacking up the inside of Mar Marquez, can he make it through? Davizioso leads in Japan! He's got through, he's through the tunnel, they're coming up towards the victory curve. Turn 12 for Andre Davizioso, he mugged Mar Marquez on the last lap in Austria. Marquez comes through at the final corner, is he going to run wide? Is history repeating itself like in Austria? Davizioso has done it here in Japan! 300 kilometers an hour they race between those towering grandstands up towards the Dunlop chicane. Is Rossi going to make a move now? He's not quite close. He's going for it. He's through. Rossi is through to take the lead. Vinales oh, sweeps around the outside. There was a little bit of contact there. This Rossi versus Vinales. Valentino Rossi leads the French Grand Prix. The crowd are going absolutely ballistic here in Le Mans. Now. Good is that soft rear tyre holding up for Davizioso because Marquez is all over Davizioso. Is he going to go up the inside of him at turn seven? He is. Yes. He did this early on in the race, picked his pocket at turn seven, right at the beginning of the race. And he's done the exact same thing on Andrea Davizioso going through turn seven on lap number 20. Marquez will fancy a bite. Pacini surely is going to attack Marquez. Yes, he does. He's been superb in that. Flip flop between six and oh, he'll go for doing it in Arabiata, is he? He is! Oh, unbelievable! Mattia Pazzini! He did deserves it just for that! The that is incredible! The crowd are going absolutely ballistic here in Magello. Pazzini leads, down they drop into the reverse court screw. Pacini runs that tighter defensive line. He's not letting Morbidelli mug him this time around. Pacini then... Oh! oh touch. That's super aggressive. That Morbidelli flip. And he found a way to... He's got a lot of... 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 He's
More Pedelli's going to be willing to push too hard at the front now. He's just witnessed his teammate go down. There's seven laps to go, and you're looking at Nakagami closing in. Now, we've not seen Nakagami win a race for a while, and that was beautifully done. Mac Nakagami, take a bow. He'd lined that up a couple of corners ago. Now, Nakagami, we've seen him, got serious, serious pace. Can he now stretch away from more Pedelli? It does not get any better than this. <laughs> there was 1.6 seconds covering 22 riders. This is just incredible stuff here in Mugello. We were hoping for something similar to last year. <laughs> we've matched it and we've maybe even gone a bit better. Medio, that was the move of the century. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. From Andre Aminio into the last corner. Sensational stuff. Mia piles on the pressure. He's going to have to make a move surely at turn number 13 or on the brakes down in the final chicane. Can he get out? Here comes Mia at turn 13. He's through. Brilliant move from the championship leader. Have that, he says to Jorge Martina. Fanati comes through as well. Sensational scenes. Bacchanini almost wipes out Jorge Martin. They come around the final corner. And Mia might have just landed this. This could be the race we look back on. Joan Mia, he wins here. One of these four guys is winning this race between Fanati, Mir and Cadet. Looks like Ramirez is way, way too far back. Here we go then, down to turn number 13. Up the inside for Cadet, from third, up into first. He's having a go, can he make it stick? Fanati uses that really quick outside line. It's gonna be a slipstream battle now, across the line, he's so close. And Aaron Cadet wins his first ever it just for that. The, that is incredible. The crowd are going absolutely ballistic here in Mugello. Mussini leads, down they drop into the reverse court group. Pacini runs that tighter defensive line. He's not the... <laughs>